Hello and welcome back to another one of my coin videos and today we're doing another one of the wee bite sized peel box videos just to stretch things out over the duration of this crisis or what's going on. Now as you can see here we've got some items on the table already. There's a reason for this and I shall explain that in just a minute but first if you feel like writing me a wee letter or send me a postcard this is the address Caledonian Coins PO Box 7678 Perth PH2 1JH don't feel obliged to send me any gifts or any coins or anything like that. I've got plenty of clutter, I've got plenty of coins. So, back to why all this is here. Now, a few of you will know, back uh, last year sometime in 2019, I, I, I officially made it. I made it big time. I, I joined the big league and I became one of the big guys. And this was made for me. And that helped me get to be a, one of the big guys. Look at this. This is one of Dan Temple's famous, or maybe infamous now, absolutely a gorgeous bimetallic chunk of a coin. Look at that. Thanks from Dan Temple. What a magnificent creation this is. And <laughs> if you want to go back and check that video that I was, this when I got this, oh, it was just, I was in awe. I was just so happy. What a star, what a man. And then a few months later, after meeting Dan at the Mint, um, I, I do remember doing a wee coin trade with him. I think I helped him out fill up a couple of albums for himself and his son, Ben. So he sent me this big lump. This is extremely heavy. It's an actual real railway track. He, he caught wind that I'm into trains a little bit. So he managed to source an actual railway track and paint it up and core out some uh, holes here to fit in two pound coins. And what he's done there, he's put in the Roundel, Richard Trevithick steam locomotive and the London Underground train. Now, what a star that was. Now, originally it's meant to be a doorstop, but I think I'm gonna lose my foot if I accidentally clip my toe on that. So I'm keeping it as a, a paperweight, which is very effective, very highly effective. I, I never lose my, my medical appointments anymore. I just whack them under there. No one takes them away. No one blows them away. It's great. And this is a magnificent piece. Now, the reason I'm showing you all that is I got this in the post. There's a wee address postcode on the back and I recognize it. It's from the same place that I received those from. So I'm quite excited to see what's inside this. So what I'm going to do, I'll do the old speedy up thing while I open it up. I might have to hide any evidence or check for any uh, things that shouldn't be on camera. So bear with me. Oh, right. Here we go. First thing that popped out, a Roman postcard. Now I have a feeling I know what's on the back of this. Let's have a wee look. Oh, wow. Look at that! Blimey! Oh, I've noticed there's writing here. Oh, wait, let's, get, let's read the writing. Oh, that's even smart as well. A little Taekwondo suit. Oh, that's pretty smart. To Darren and Lisa, hope you're well. All the best. Happy days, Dan. Well, wow, check this out. Look at the detailing on that. Now, I know how hard it is to do painting because I had to take it as part of my university course. I wasn't doing art, but I was doing something to do with digital, uh, promoting, uh, graphical design, uh, uh, using a lot of Photoshop and a lot of Adobe Creative Suite, basically. But I did have to do a few classes where I had to do photography and art and painting and all sorts of other media this is this is this is totally 10 levels above that wow look at that even just detailing i don't even want to touch it because i'm scared to touch it wow that's a beautiful beautiful scene i'm just going to be sitting in awe looking at that and i'm Right, Dan, you're going to have to tell me, is this going to be safe to put preserve in any way? I want to keep this preserved as best I can. 
Uh, I don't want to just shove it in a laminator or something, you know. <laughs> I want to make... I need advice to how to keep this as is forevermore. Wow. That's beautiful. I'm, I'm utterly speechless. And that's the only one thing that's come out of the, the, the package. There's another item here. This one says circulated 50p. And there's a wee coin pocket. That says, we missed you. Oh, I know. We missed you too, mate. We all missed you too. March the 7th, 20. We missed you. Now, this is because um, everybody had their wee Cointuber meetup at the Mint on that day. And myself and a couple of other Cointubers could not make it. Myself, because... Uh, work commitments and they couldn't get me the free time even for the weekend because someone had booked the Crufts weekend off and other people were doing all sorts of mad, uh, mad sponsored walks and stuff like that but it was in a good cause for Great Ormond Street Hospital uh, so if I was to get that day off it would have just broke broke the business I didn't book in uh, couldn't get booking oh I was just and also, that weekend, the flyby incident. Now, that's how I usually fly down or get down to the south of Wales, is via flyby from Edinburgh to Cardiff. But with that going all belly up, had I even got the weekend off, I would never, ever have made it. There we go. Don't look at that. I've not even read the back of it yet. It's, oh, signed by the master. Until the next time, happy days, Dan. Oh, wow, I'm totally speechless. Thanks, Dan. This is incredible. Wow. We're not even... Look at this. This is ominous. This is like the packaging that this arrived in, so I'm kind of nervous. Let's have a wee peek. Let's have a wee peek. Oh, it's got Darren written on it. <laughs> I do like the sound of this. I do need to get the scissors to free it from its tape prison try not to da damage it too much oh half of my darren's disappeared oh let's do this it's like ripping a bandage isn't it let's do this there we go oh Kind of am nervous and not scared, but you know, it's just that kind of anticipation and oh, what's what's in here? <laughs> right, let's do this, let's do this. Oh wow, what a monster that is! <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Aaron 2020 Cali Coins 50p to Darren and Lisa all the best Dan Temple <laughs> superb mate that is superb oh I could probably do some proper damage with that if the customers annoy me too much <laughs> but no it's too good for that oh that's, am that's amazing even got the the maestro signature that is pretty smart I like the way Cali Coins has a wee heart at the end of the tail. That's pretty smart. I really love that. 2020. How am I going to top that? All my P.O. Box videos in the future are just going to be defunct now. <laughs> just The man keeps getting better and better. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you so much. Uh, and I definitely need to get down to the Cardiff when all of this travel restrictions and lights and all that are back to normal service oh wow so where do i start with a thumbnail thumbnail's got to be one of these but i don't know which one that's incredible that's a beast in its own right look at that look at the size difference i know this is a lot thicker but oh yeah beastie <laughs> what do i say to that now I was trying to keep this to a bite-sized video, but this is turning out to be a full-length feature film. So, <laughs> just going to appreciate this one last time before I 
sign off for the day. Wow. He just, he's done it again, hasn't he? He's done it again. Uh, certainly, mate, we missed you too. Gotta get myself down there. Hopefully, hopefully, once everything's restricted, I don't know how long it's going to be. It could be 12 weeks, it could be six months. They're talking different numbers in the news. I don't want to talk about the subject matter because it's depressing. It makes everybody down. We're here for coins. We're here for a bit of a laugh, a bit of entertainment. And Dan has certainly done that for us today. Anyway, it's all, it started with this, progressed to this, Ended up with this. Oh, it's, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to dash off the now. I was going to say my usual catchphrase, if you're having a hunt, have a happy one, but... Just check your change. That's all I'm going to say to now. If you're out buying a newspaper, buying a loaf of bread, check your change. I'm definitely not putting that in any vending machines. <laughs> That's a monster, isn't it? <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. Thank you so much, Dan. I'm going to dash off now. Um, have a good one. Stay safe. And well done, everyone, for getting through so far. Ciao now. <laughs>